Hi, Amy. I put together this short video audit of your listing on Amazon, and it's my hope that I'll earn a phone call with you. My name is Sean, and I'm with My Amazon Guy. So look, I've got your Lay and Go Defender Tactical Accessory Bag here pulled up now, and I love your bags, by the way. But before we go through the listing, one of the first things I like to do is take a peek behind the scenes. So I grabbed your Ace in here and loaded it into Helium 10. So let's go take a peek there. All right, here in Helium 10, move me out of the way. So I see with this acing, you've got 176 sponsored keywords and only 277 organic keywords. Curious if this is a new product for you, how long you've been uh, listing it. Also too, curious about this mix here. It's really low, um, is advertising in the plan here. So let's look, I mean, your, your highest organic rank on this bag is three. Um, Lay and go, okay, so organic, you're not there, but let's look at your sponsored keywords and see how those are performing. Lay and go cosmetic bag, okay. So your best sponsored rank on this listing is two. So someone will always be above you. Um, but let's do this, not a lot of search traffic. There is some here in yours, but let's look at the keywords with it. And I know it's kind of a unique niche, but competitive category. Let's see what keywords folks are using the most within this category. So makeup organizer, that makes sense. Makeup bag. I think even though this is the defender bag and it's you know not marketed with that tool, I think you definitely should uh, be here, especially in travel bag. You know, tactical gear, absolutely. I like that the survival kits, um, but military gear. I mean, look, all these. So for the top, you know, ranked keywords in this category, you're not showing up much. And, you know, again, it could be the, the new bag, you know, a new listing, not sure. So just curious. I definitely think there's room for improvement there, but going back over to your listing. So I see you've got, let's see, six images and video. Um, so your first image is great. I really like it. You see what it looks like open and then closed and you've got products in there too, as well. This is it closed up. I gotta look to see that Velcro mesh pockets. Okay, um, this looks, you know, just like this image up above. Yeah, so there's some duplication. I don't, I don't know if this is really necessary. Um, look, your advertising is travel, so travel bag should be on your keywords there. Um, all right, so these are interesting and they're all good pictures. I think you need to have, you know, a picture of someone looking at the camera. You need to have some lifestyle images here, but you do have good images of the bag. Just think that if you had an image of someone actually with the bag out in life, you know, maybe even the image of this person here, but seeing their face, it really kind of gives that feel, that sense for the consumer when they get onto your page that you know they could have this bag in that kind of setting. Uh, it just makes it a little more realistic for them having a lifestyle image. Now your title is great. You've got 191 characters. Well done on that. Um, as I scroll down, I don't see any parentage. And again, not sure if you're looking to do that. You've only got 19 ratings, so you're probably looking to grow this. Um, but if, if parentage was there, that would take up more real estate down there. And then looking here, you do have your five bullets, but some of them are kind of short. So I would make sure to use as much as you can, all the space here in your about this item section, because although I'm logged into Helium 10 now, you can't see it. Sponsored listings always show up on yours right under about this item. So fill this up as much as you can. It should, you should have to scroll to get through your about this item section. Now uh, I go to, I went to the lay and go store. I love this branding right here. It's clear, right? Lay and go. So scrolling down, I like that. Now I did look and I think you've got some bags that are um, either low stock or out of stock. If that happens, if you're having stock out issues, that can create havoc for you. You know, I'm sure on Amazon, it hurts your ranking. It hurts all of your keyword indexing, all of that. But let's do this. Let's go down. I want to look at your branding down here. Okay, so here's uh, some A-plus content and you've got the Defender bag there. So let's go up here. I want to look at your alt text behind your images. All right, lay and go patent design, lay and go. Okay, so you've got some repetition with your alt text there, lay and go defender, defender lifestyle. Okay, so your alt text should think of those keywords that we saw, right, in Helium 10. 
you want to use the words that and this is designed for your search. Um, people who are searching, if you typed in these keywords, would show up here. Um, lay and go defender, you've got it. You know, it's lay and go is repeated a few times. So um, I would change that, add more keywords that, you know, folks are using travel bag, cosmetic, you know, things like that, tool or, um, you know, all the things that you can imagine you would carry this in, flashlight bag or, you know, tool bag or organizer, those kind of keywords need to be here. You've got revolutionized organization. Revolutionized is going to be a word that you're indexing for, and it's not something that people would type in the search bar for Amazon to find your Defender bag. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, smart solution. Uh, you know, I don't, I think you definitely need help on your alt text behind your images. So I'll stop there. Um, but Looking here, this is the only branding I see, right? So I want to scroll down a bit. I see lay and go there up in the text there. So lay and go. All right. And then you've got a product. Okay, so good job on the product grid. This will uh, increase your average order value. But truthfully, I'm not branded here, right? So, and I say that thinking of a consumer coming to this, looking for this kind of item. I, I'm not left with, oh, this is lay and go. I'm left with, I saw a bag that I can use to carry around whatever I need to put in it. So branding is pretty necessary. And like I said, as I click through here, this is really good. This is what we need to see on your listing because with a bag this popular or this nifty or this trendy, um, you know, you want to be able to speak about the brand. It's a lay and go bag so people can easily find it. Let me just give you an example real quick. So this is a, cust a client of ours. They've been with us for, uh, they just signed their third annual contract with us. Um, but it's the Chirp store. So I want to click into here. And this is a tool that people use in their homes or wherever to help with their back. Um, but Chirp is the big brand. You see that there. As we look at their products, Chirp is all over their wheel. But just to review the listing real quick, you see they've got their images, they've got parentage, they've got a lot of, this is the kind of text I was talking about in your about this item section. Um, but I want to show you the branding that they did here. And by the way, this, this campaign has been so successful. They do over a million dollars a month on Amazon. And through our help, we were able to get this client on Shark Tank just a few months ago. So uh, there's a lot of success and Amazon uh, has definitely been a big part of that for Chirp Wheel. Um, but this is their A-plus content here. It looks kind of similar to yours, but you see Chirp here everywhere. Chirp, 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 chirp is everywhere. As we scroll down, you see chirp even more. You see the different sizes they have, bags in, or uh, the uh, wheel in motion. And then you just see, continue to see chirp everywhere, chirp, chirp. And again, this product grid, you know, it helps increase your average order value. So listen, I know I packed a lot of information in this short video. It's my hope that I earned that phone call. So go ahead and click the link in my email that reads book a call. It'll open up our my schedule where you can snag yourself a free 30 minute consultation. And if you do it soon, I may be able to get our founder, Stephen Pope on the line with us. But hey, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.